Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. This video is a book view of this wonderful little book, very little book, Miss Brown's Friend by F.M. Mare. Now this book is very thin, it's only 32 pages in total, whoa, with quite large font. Um, and the reason why it's 32 pages was because, bear with me, it was first published in four parts between June 1914 and March 1915, so it's over 100 years old. And this was first published in the Free Church Suffrage Times, um, but has been republished for our, the modern reader's pleasure. And oh, it's so good. It's so, so good. It really blew my socks off, actually. So what is Miss Frown's friend about? So Miss Brown's friend is about a woman called Miss Brown. Miss Brown is a woman of kind of middle class. She doesn't need to work. She is single. She's well catered for by her parents and she can just enjoy her freedom and her life. And something that she does enjoy is um, being like an artist um, or um, I'm going to read you a little snippet of what her mother thinks of this. <laughs> so Miss Brown employed, employed herself in painting what her mother with the candid tongue of the older generation described as disgusting things of naked Italians, <laughs> which I just thought was very, very funny. And um, she, Miss Brown reads an article in a magazine and they talk about rescue houses and how essentially women of Miss Brown's sort of class is kind of middle class that has a lot of free time um, should go and help and befriend these women. So these women in these rescue houses are very much down on their luck. There isn't much further they could fall essentially. Uh, further down would be like the workhouse sort of thing. Um, they're, they're, they're really in a bad way and they really need someone to help and rescue them and so um, they get put in touch with other people um, in hope that they kind of befriend each other and um, the one of kind of higher class can help the other. So Miss Brown goes to this rescue house and there she sees a very young, very beautiful woman called Maybelle. She really hopes she gets her because Maybelle, although very beautiful, she's very much a spade as a spade and she's kind of hot and fiery and there's something about her that attracts Miss Brown to her. So she really hopes that she gets her as her kind of friendly companion and she does and uh, they start communicating via letters and uh, Miss Brown's like helping her in, in, in persuading her in which way to go in the job market to try and secure her position and secure housing and things like that. And she ends up, Miss Mabel, Mabel ends up going from job to job sort of thing. She's, she's very hot headed and um, puts her foot in her mouth quite a lot. Um, and there is a section in this where I want to read you another small little snippet. And um, it is a letter sent to Miss Brown from Maybelle's employer, current employer, um, because of course she ends up getting fired a lot. And it's quite, it's quite a lengthy letter, but, the, but I'm gonna read you, I just thought it was very, very funny. A complaint letter, of course, because the mistress is, is complaining that Maybelle she wears very thin stockings for the time of year and goes out in house shoes with high heels. <gasps> How dare she? That they're kind of, she's not kind of the person that uh, the employer wants, so to speak. And she ends up going from job to job and Miss Brown and her kind of friendly advice that she's trying to give Mabel and to try and help her, she doesn't necessarily always take it. Um, and that's where I'm gonna leave you because I don't wanna say any more because I will ruin it. But I have read this couple of times, three times round now, something like this, and I just adore it. I really didn't know where it was going to go, to be honest, um, but I just love it. And the more I read it, the more emotional I feel, and the more emotional I'm connected to these characters. And it was so brilliant, because I've never read anything by FM there before, but I really want to now. And in this 32 pages, I feel so connected to both Miss Brown and Mabel. It's shocking and their friendship. I was blown away by how connected I am in a 32 page tiny little thing. It was just pure, pure delight. I was laughing at times, I was close to tears at other times. It was just remarkable and I am really gutted that more people don't get to read it but hopefully I might have enticed you to pick it up. If you are interested in women's women's fiction, um, fiction 
surrounding women at the early part of the 20th century I think you will really really like this because this is just oh it was so good so so good anyway so that is my little review of Miss Brown's friend I'm probably gonna go and reread this now because it's so so good uh five stars all round obviously so I hope you have enjoyed this video. Chat to me anything about FM Mayor and have you read Miss Brown's Friend? Is it now going to be sat on your wish list? You'll have to let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care and I shall see you soon for the next one. Bye for now.